In the steady inflation of Islamic State terror, the death cult made its biggest financial demand ever. You now have 72 hours to pressure your government in making a wise decision by paying the 200 million to save the lives of your citizens. Addressed to the Japanese government and people, the $200 million matches the amount pledged by Tokyo to the fight against Islamic State just three days before. Islamic State moved fast to exploit the Japanese hostages it was already holding. With some of the hostages it's had in the past, you've seen them negotiate with some governments that have paid for their citizens um, to, to get them out. And that's given Islamic State not just much needed cash, but a sense of validation that yes, we are a state, we hold uh, meetings and conduct affairs with other states and other heads of state. The victims know each other but come from very different backgrounds. Kenji Goto is a well-known freelance journalist and author who went to cover Syria's humanitarian crisis. Haruna Yakawa's reasons for being there are obscure. He posted videos of himself training with a rifle and claimed to be a security contractor. The Japanese government has demanded their release but not ruled out paying a ransom. I strongly demand the Islamic State group does not hurt the two Japanese citizens and immediately releases them. I have instructed the chief cabinet secretary to deal with the case, putting people's lives as the top priority. Tokyo has set up an emergency committee and meetings to discuss this have taken place already. Months of coalition airstrikes have not eroded Islamic State control over much of northern Iraq and Syria. And the cult has become self-financing by extorting $8 million from Mosul city businesses each month on top of $425 million stolen in cash from Mosul Central Bank. The United Nations says that the Islamic State has harvested around $45 million in ransom payments in 2014. It also gets a steady flow of $1 million a day from the sale of locally refined oil. But these riches do not buy the sort of publicity for Islamic State that has attracted thousands of volunteers from Europe and other continents. That has been achieved through slickly made atrocity videos in which the promise to kill hostages has been kept. That malignant truth will now possess Japan, at least for the next three days. Sam Kiley, Sky News.